Hey, what up guys, how's it going? Okay, I'm back with something kind of cool here. I have Orbi's new latest and greatest uh, mesh system. This is their Wi-Fi 6 model. This is the AX6000. Now I have the four pack. Now this one here has a router and two satellites inside. And I also have the other satellite here. So this is the four pack. Depending on the size of your home, you may want the two pack or the three pack. So you have your main router and then you have your satellites. So your router, talks to your satellites and they create like a cloud or a bubble of internet. No more of the days of having a router and then you buy a Wi-Fi extender for the other part of your home. Those are no good. What's happening is you'll have your phone, let's say on Wi-Fi connected to your router. You'll go to that other part of the home and now it needs to disconnect from the router to connect to the extender and it's not reliable. It's not fast and it's just not good. Now I've been rocking with Netgear and Orbi for a while. Here's a screenshot of my current setup. Now, as you can see there, I have a router and I have three satellites already. So I decided why not upgrade to their latest and greatest Wi-Fi 6 here. This thing is an absolute beast. We're talking cutting edge performance. Get the ultimate experience with 12 streams of Wi-Fi 6 and speeds up to six gigabits. Enjoy 4K, 8K UHD streaming, lag-free gaming, and buttery smooth streaming. More capacity, more battery life. Don't be held back by the limited capacity. Enjoy devices simultaneously with four times the capacity than before. Gigabit speeds wherever you need them. You'll be amazed at how consistent this is, and even with the dedicated 12 ethernet ports, up to 2.5 gigabits per ethernet port. Simple and easy, all you gotta do is use the Orbi app, and we'll go through that and set it up ourselves. It's got advanced cyber threat protection called Netgear Armor. Yeah, how cool is that? 40% increase in data throughput, up to six gigabits, 100% backwards compatibility, and four times more capacity. Simultaneously, tri-band Wi-Fi, you know you have your 2.4, your 5 gigahertz, and your third 5 gigahertz radio. So yeah, I'm very excited, super happy to get into this. Um, yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna stop talking, we're gonna unbox it, look at it, and then I'll open the app and we'll go through the setup and that'll be it. All right guys, let's get into it. Okay, they got a quick let's get started guide. Okay, download the app. Don't worry, we'll go ahead and do all that. And also, I'll do a quick speed test on my iPhone and we'll do a before and after. And I also have my iPad Pro. We'll do a quick speed test before and after so we can see the difference. Okay, okay, let's see what's in this box. Okay, these are all our power cords right here. Let's see, so three of these, one per unit inside here, and the satellite over there will have its own. On top of that, uh, yeah, Ethernet cord. We'll need that going from the modem to the router. Ooh. And it's clearly labeled so you know which one is the router, which one is the satellite, but we have the satellite here. Let's go ahead and see what one of these look like. Okay, here's the front, kind of stylish, right? Sleek, modern, love it. And that is, honestly, I'll tell you guys, as long as I've been using Orbi, the one thing I love about it is uh, not only the speed, but it's consistency. So here we have ethernet ports on the back, and as you can see, there are four. So. Your router is wirelessly talking to the satellite and you can hardwire your Xbox, your TV, your PlayStation 5, your Apple TV, whatever you want, and it will have a strong, consistent signal and it'll never drop out. As long as I've had it, I've never had it drop out at all. Okay, and here's our router. Okay, so here is the router. And if you ever get confused, like the label that says router comes off, don't worry. If you look on the back here, you'll see it has a yellow ethernet port. So you know that's the internet coming in from your modem. It'll go here and then this will go ahead and give you four ethernet as well. Right, how cool is that? 
Okay, I wanted to bring this in a little closer so you could see the back of the router here. So that yellow ethernet port right there, that's the internet. So it'll go from your modem to the yellow port right there. And then these are your ethernet out so you can um, hardwire, whether you have a PC or you want a laptop or Xbox, PS5, whatever. And um, right here is your reset button. And then right there is your DC, you know, your power in. Now this sync button, it's actually pretty cool. Let's say you only bought the two pack and you want to add another satellite, or um, even if you're having trouble adding a satellite to this system, which I doubt you will. It's very simple. All you have to do is hit the sync button here and then go on the back of the satellite, hit the sync button and give it a second and it'll go ahead and sync up and it'll be paired. No extra steps or settings or anything like that. So um, yeah, this is one way to distinguish the router in case you get confused or mix them up. It has the yellow um, ethernet port there for the internet in. You also have QR codes on the bottom and on the bottom it also tells the network name and the password for the network name by default that it comes with. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bring the satellite in closer. And here is our third satellite. Okay, and we already know what this box looks like, so I'm guessing this is our power cable. Yep, our power brick. And our final satellite here. Just place the satellite somewhere near the router, plug it in, hit the sync button on the back of the router, then hit the sync button on your satellite, give it a second, and you're good to go. Now, um, just to give you a heads up, it will have some colors coming out of the bottom here, and there's only three colors. So um, one is white, so I believe when it's a flashing, like glowing white, it's kind of powering on, kind of waking up, getting ready. Then it'll change to a solid white. That means it's like, okay, I'm ready, what do you want to do? Then there is a magenta, that's when you know there's no internet. So, you know, if you're in your living room and you're looking at the satellite or you're looking at your router and there's a magenta color, you know there's no internet. Something's up with the internet and you'll have to check that. And then there is a deep, like, uh, royal blue. It's pretty cool. When you first set up the internet, or let's say the power goes off on your house and it comes back on, it'll go white. And then it'll go that nice royal glowing blue. And that's when you know, hey, I'm back to normal. I'm receiving the internet everything's all good and then it will subside and kind of fade and then it'll just be like this you'll see no light at all when everything is um, going well so yeah pretty cool those three colors okay so here we have them all unboxed we have our three satellites our one router all ready to go and uh yeah this is a beast of a setup like with this you're we're talking we can cover 10,000 square feet with this but like i said Due to what I have going on in at my home and the size, this is what I need and what I've been using and it's absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna get my iPad Pro, my iPhone 12, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and run a couple of speed tests so we can go ahead and see a before and after. Now I have an AT&T fiber one gigabit line and um, yeah, we'll also shoot to my desktop and see what that looks like really quick so we can see the speeds of before and after on that as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have my iPhone 12 Pro here, and let's see what we look like. Do a quick speed test. Okay, so we have our download speed there is 381. Like I said, I have a one gigabit line with AT&T, that's AT&T Fiber. So the speed test is done, we have our numbers. Okay, I have my iPad Pro here, and uh, let's go ahead and do a quick speed test, and let's see what we get here. Okay, it looks like our download is 345. Let's see what we look like on the upload here. All right, so there we have it. 345 download and 235 upload. And uh, this is on my current setup before the new satellites and Wi-Fi 6 router and everything here. Okay, so we have the quick start guide right here. And this is just telling us we're gonna download the app, install our or be Wi-Fi system. Then step two, we're gonna secure everything with Netgear Armor. And then step three, you know, I'll probably uh, change the password and rename the network. But other than that, we'll be good to go. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so the setup is done. It took about 15 minutes. And uh, here are some screenshots you could see. You're gonna create a Netgear account if you don't already have one. Download the Orbi app, install it. 
then you're just gonna uh, take a picture of the QR codes on the bottom of the satellites and routers or the label that comes on it has a QR code. Then you'll just go ahead and unplug the power from your modem, plug an ethernet from the modem to the router, then go ahead and plug back in the router and it, it'll talk you through it. Believe me, it is super simple. A trained monkey could do this. But as you see from the screenshots, it's fairly simple. You'll be up and running in no time. Uh, if you have any issues, although I doubt that you will, you could even place one of the satellites near the router and then just hit the sync button on the back of the router, then hit the sync button on the back of the satellite. They will talk to each other, boom, and then they'll be magically working. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this for about a week or so, and then I'll come back and let you know my final thoughts. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so I'll see you in about a week. All right, guys. All right, let's go ahead and test out the new speeds. We just saw the old speeds with my old router, which was still working great. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to go somewhere kind of far in my house, kind of a random place in my closet here. And let's go ahead and test out the speed. 618 yeah like i said this wi-fi 6 is no joke blazing blazing speeds on my iphone 12 pro here uh yeah i just happen to be in a random closet here on the other side of my house and um yeah that's a considerable amount faster than before so let's go ahead and test out the ipad pro. okay let's test the ipad pro 12 in the same place i just did my iphone 558 download 535 upload that is absolutely insane so um yeah i'll go back to my office here and give my final thoughts but i'm pleased okay so i've been using this for about a week and it's phenomenal i've had zero issues uh just like my last orby but this is just a lot faster so to reiterate what i said before i do have a one gigabit uh fiber line here from at&t and um everything is just faster like i know i notice now like when i go to netflix and i'll go to hit play on a show like it just starts instantly there is no loading wheel it's just that fast um everything is faster and i love it so i'm going to show you a picture right here now here's a screenshot from my phone and this shows in the orbi app how many devices i have connected at my home as you, as you could see circled there there are 53 devices in my home i think about 35 of those are just light switches. Yeah, I have a bunch of Lutron light switches in my house. But anyways, you could see how important my connection is. I have so many smart devices and things connected in my home. I need a reliable connection. Yeah, so I've been rocking with Orbi since 2017. That's how long I've had my system. And that's when you know technology is good, when things just work. So every day I come home, the people in the house, we use the internet and we never think about resetting the router or am I gonna hit a dead zone in my house or hopefully it works over here or am I getting a good signal? That's never a thought in my mind because it just works. And that's when you know technology is great when you're using it and not thinking about it. So that's just my honest opinion. So I wanted to upgrade to the latest and greatest and it's phenomenal. I'm extremely happy. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments. I'll leave a link in the description in case you wanna go ahead and buy one and check it out for yourself. But if you're looking for reliability, consistency, and blazing fast speeds, this is it. All right, guys.